Welcome back comic fans to the Comic Fix, where today I'm going to be doing my top five covers of the week. Now, every single week we go into our local comic book store and we figure out what is a comics we're going to pick out. And usually it's the cover that catches our eye that tells us, should we buy it or should we not? And these right here are my top five covers of the week. At number five, we have Ash, Army of Darkness. Now, this cover right here is just beautiful. I absolutely love the realism in the drawing of Ash and having them sitting on these corpses that just, and that they're just so awesome to look at. And you see that one hand that's coming up right by Ash's leg that's just so haunting. And to see kind of the little mist that's going on in the background, absolutely beautiful. If this cover right here does not catch your eye, well, you must be blind. At number four, we have Batman Detective Comics issue number 30. Now this is the first issue written by Francis Manipal and Brian Butchelato. So these are the guys from The Flash and they bring their style to this cover where you, I absolutely love the yellow that's in the background and you see the Batman and on his chest you see like the outline of this motorcycle gang and it's just absolutely beautiful. The purple that's in there, the yellow, the black that is with the Batman, or is actually more of a blue color, that is absolutely stunning. And then you got like this little gold trails with a little bit of red in there of the bikers that is absolutely stunning. This cover right here just catches your eyes with the bright colors mixed in with a little bit of the dark colors and that bat symbol. If you're not a Batman fan, we will look at this cover and be like, this looks very artistic. I need to read this. And that is, folks, is what a cover is supposed to do. So, in the number four spot, we have Batman Detective Comics. Number three, we have Black Widow. I love, 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 love this cover. You have a plane that's coming down upon Black Widow. You see that the wing has been torn off and she is running for her life. I absolutely love the purple bluish color that's in the background with like the nice orange color that's in there. That's absolutely beautiful to look at. And then to see just like the facial expressions on Black Widow, beautiful and I love just the colors that are all in this cover. This cover will just grab at you just because of the the tone that the book is conveying in this cover and just you want to know what's going on with Black Widow and so that's the reason why Black Widow gets the number three spot. At the number two we have Dead Letters issue number one from Boom Studios. This cover right here folks is Beautiful! I absolutely love the way that this man is just sitting down in the rain, the look of shock, the gun that's in his hand, the rain that's coming down upon him, the black that is in the background with the white. It is just stunning. And I love the way that he's look he, when he's looking into the water. You see the him looking back at himself, and you see the cops that are right by him, and you're thinking, what happened here? This cover right here just has so many questions in there that you want to know what is the mystery that's inside this book. Beautiful cover and Dead Letters issue number one gets the number two. Now here comes the number one! And the number one spot goes to Trillium issue number eight. Now this cover has just conveys the message of with any relationship you never know where it's going to take you. You have these two holding hands going literally into the abyss. And that is just such good symbolism for what a relationship is. When you start a relationship, it's so great. But then after a while, you just don't know where this could take you. This could take you to your soulmate, to the person that you're going to end up hating in the end. And you never know where it's going to go. And it's a mystery. And the mystery is where are these two people going? They're going into the unknown. And there's just such good symbolism in this cover right here that I just could not help but put this as my number one spot. I absolutely love this cover. And let me know people, what was your top five covers for the week? Because everybody has different opinions on what a good cover is supposed to look like. My name is David and I will see you guys next time on the Comic Fix. And remember, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.